10 bugs that EA never patched. Hello guys, today we are covering about 10 bugs that are still working in 2023. In this past year's EA made plenty of glitches. And most of them get fixed in the later updates. Before we start YouTube challenge me that it's impossible to subscribe before All-Star Zombie crushed this walnut. So to prove them wrong please click that subscribe button. It's free and it will help me a lot. Number 1. If you're a fan of Plants vs Zombies 2, then you probably already know that there are a ton of different plants you can use. From pea shooters to sunflowers, each plant has its own unique strengths and weaknesses. But have you ever wondered which plant is the toughest of them all? I know some of you will say it's tall nut, primal walnut, or even gum nut. What if I told you that there is a glitch that makes the plant literally impossible to die even if it's being crushed by a gargantuar zombie or burned by a fire breather zombie? The plant that I'm talking about is none other than the escape route. Yep, that's the immortal plant. You didn't believe me? Try planting it in an empty tile, and if it's armed, try to switch it to an empty tile. Hold it before it transforms into an explosive plant, then release. Now you have a fully invincible plant. Even the power of a shovel can't penetrate its power. So now you know what plant you will buy in the shop. Number 2. Number 1, we talked about the toughest plants. Now, who do you think is the most useless plant in the game? There are several YouTubers that talk about the most useless plant. In my personal opinion, it's Tomb Tangler because it's overpowered by its own counter plant, which is Grave Buster, and I don't see the purpose of this plant. But that is still not the most useless plant in the game. There is a glitch that makes the plant completely useless, and for some reason, it's also Escape Root. Yep, Escape Root is our MVP in this video. You might say that I just said that it's the toughest plant, and now I'm telling you that it's the most useless plant. Well, that's true. To make the glitch happen, you just have to spam switch the escape route in the empty tile before it even transforms into an explosive plant, unlike in the immortal glitch that you need to wait before it transforms into an explosive. As you can see, it's not doing anything at all, and then it will just die like that. It's most likely a worse version of walnut. Number 3. Mints are essential plants that can boost other plants and elevate them to a higher level for a certain amount of time. So the real question is. What if the mints lasted for the entire game? There is a bug that can make the mint last for the entire level, but it requires three conditions to be met. First, the level needs to have a hunter zombie. Second, the two main plants are mint and any vine plant except pyre vine. When the mint is planted in a vine and frozen by a hunter zombie, the mint will stay there as long as the frozen block is not destroyed, giving all the plants the mint effect throughout the level. You can abuse this bug as long as there is a hunter zombie in the level. Number 4. It's not surprising to learn that instant-use plants are immune to most zombie attacks, but it's interesting to consider how someone discovered this bug. The bug works similarly to the previous one but requires only a tile turnip and a hunter zombie. If a hunter zombie is about to freeze any plant, place a tile turnip in that plant, and it will be frozen instead. Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. This means you can also freeze an instant-use plant. You just need a host plant to take the hunter zombie's projectile. If you want to test this with every instant use plant, it's best to use a vine plant as a host. Did <laughs> what the f <laughs> what time to go? Number 5. In plants versus zombies, there are many counter mechanisms for plants to use against zombies. For example, Bang Choi is a great counter to any kind of bug zombie, as it can kill the bug without dropping the zombie it's carrying. There is one secret that EA doesn't tell you. If you ever encounter a Yeti zombie in the arena, 
It's super hard to take down because of its high health, and it will just walk away if not damaged enough. However, planting a spring bean in front of the Yeti zombie can stall it forever. The explanation for this is unknown, but it could be because the Yeti in the arena can't be knocked back. So the spring bean doesn't even try. And instead hides itself for protection. So Yeti can't reach it. But the code modifies it to eat, that's just my own opinion. Number 6. If you love playing Plants vs Zombies 2, there is a bug that you can exploit. Try trapping a high health zombie, such as a gargantua, using a bramble bush, and then switch its position using escape route. The gargantua will also follow the escape route. For some reason, if the escape route is in another lane, the gargantua zombie will stay in the same lane as where it's standing, taking no damage, unlike any other zombie. Number 7. Most of the players uses different kind of plant combo in order to make the level easier. The best example is reinforcement plus blubber, this combo is the most powerful combo ever existed. As it can easily wipe out, out all of the zombie in the lawn. It doesn't matter if it's gargantua zombie or any zombie as long as it can be knocked back by reinforcement. There is also combo that only few people know about. And that is Gumnut plus Snap Pea, this combo is one of the worst possible combo in the game, not only that Snap Pea won't do anything. So how this works is. Just use Gumnut to zombie, then plant Snap Pea in it, and Snap Pea can't attack it unless the gum is eaten by the zombie. I don't know why Snap Pea can't eat the zombie. But this is absolutely one of the worst bug ever existed. Number 8. One of the most popular bug in every games is the glitch duplicating. When we talk about Plants vs Zombies 2, there is also some bug about duplicating. One of this is the Power Lily secret plant food ability. We all know that instant use plant don't have any plant food ability. Well Power Lily is a unique plant, Power Lily just need to be planted at the end of the game and drop a plant food in it. The it will produce two plant food instead of one. You just need to hold on power lily and plant food at the same time in order to plant a plant food on it. There is also a bug about Zoe Bean Pod, that it produces two gargantua zomboid by only using one plant food. This occur when Zoebean Pod is plant food while Boombox Zombies is playing its music. And it will produce two plant food instead of one. Number 9. Excavator Zombie is one of the most annoying zombie in Plants vs Zombies 2. If you forgot to bring a lobbing plant then you will lose the level instantly in this level. I don't know if this is a bug or something. So if Excavator dig up a potato mine or primal potato mine, it will instantly recharge for some reason. Making a good use of its shovel. Similarly when excavator is trapped by bramble bush and immediately dig up that plant, excavator will lose its shovel and for some another reason it can eat any kind of underground plants. Whee! Number 10. For a long time in Plants vs Zombies 2, there are several visual glitches appeared in the game. And while EA are fixing some of this, there is still that has not been fixed. This glitch is called the Upside Down Zombie Glitch. How this works is when you use Citron's plant food ability on a zombie being knocked by Ankylosaurus, it will cancel the throw and leaves a zombie spark and walks upside down. Even if you tell this to EA, trust me, you need to pay before they will fix it. So that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching the whole video, if you have any content suggestion feel free to comment down below. And see you guys on the next video.